Right, hello, here we are on the very first episode of the new base race for March. It's, uh, I'm inside the dastardly, the mean machine, Dick Dastardly and Muttley's car. Yes. Brilliant build by Cherry. And set in a different place, as I can see. Now, um, right, I've got precious little time for recording, so I just want to, um, put these things away like that. Um, I've, right, I'm really only meaning to make a start on this. There's the empty chest we're going to put everything into. And so, I will start the timer. And let's, let's go, go, go. Oh, uh, I've forgotten. Uh, ouch. I can't remember how to get down. I know Ed showed us. No, I can't, can't see it at all. Um, there must be, there are ladders, weren't there? Right. Somewhere were there, but there were ladders. But, right, I need to get to trees. I need to just make the ordinary start. That's that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to kill all those cows. Oh, I ought to tell you I'm in a rather strange skin at the start of this one. Let's have a quick look at that. There we are. It's... Uh, I'm in a kind of military um, one. It was the underskin of a tree camouflage skin that I wanted to do for uh, MHC and um, yes it is in fact exactly the same um, kind of uh, suit you know, that I wore for uh, the military style base race a while ago, last year. Right, let's just take down a little bit of um, stone from here. Now, of course, we know that the hideously scary uh, extra challenge this month is the Easter egg hunt. And we are the egg. And we're being hunted by something, and I don't know what it is. Oh, it's probably best not, not to try to get, gather anything else from here, apart from stone. Let's go over there and make a few tools. So, I'll have to see how I cope with um, suddenly finding out I'm the hunted. I don't usually like that kind of thing, but we shall see. Maybe I'll take to it like a duck to water. I'm really doing badly with this. <laughs> right, let's, let's set up some tools that I want. I'm being so slow. Um, down this oak tree in the hope that it will give me an apple as well. That would be nice. Uh, go and grab that coal. Um, kill the cows. Um, yes, I've been playing with 1.9 as well recently and uh, oh, the snapshots and very recently with the full release and of course you get kind of used to the idea that um, Swords. Swords are a different kind of weapon from uh, pick. Uh, no, from, from axes. You you all become axe killers in uh, in 1.9. But here we're back to the the normal ways of. You can spam click. You can use your sword. You can kill the initial mobs with anything you like. And. Right, I need to basically just get get moving. Right, I need 
Let's let's collect still more food. We we just I hate it when you're trying to do a base raise and um you're running short of food. No, no. That? Hmm. I thought that would be a lava place, but not yet. Right. Uh, I'm aware that we have to get quite a bit of chopping done. Uh, 16 birch logs, 16 any logs, and 16 spruce logs. So, let's get some of these done. I'll call these the any logs. So, they're going to be easy to get, really, out of these spruce, because we're they're right near the base, aren't they? Okay, so let's, let's take down a spruce. Sorry about any background noises. As always, it's a particularly a family home with lots of noises going on today because it's Mother's Day. As I recalled this, Mother's Day is different in the UK from in the in the United States. We've got it today, which is the, what are we, the 7th of, um, oh, I'll leave that there, 7th of March, okay, um, what am I doing, I've, I've actually got 16, oh, I've got 16 of, of all of them, let's um, just get a little extra, so there'll be the birch that we need as well, okay, so what's going on? I don't have to look around me for any of those other biomes. So the base is over there. Ooh, sheepies. Yes. Now, an interesting thing. I don't want to kill any sheep. I need to keep the sheep. You're a dark grey one, aren't you? I would call you dark grey. That means I've got to dye all the rest of you dark grey in this challenge. Gravel? Have we got to pick up some gravel? A few, <laughs> perhaps. Let's just pick up a handful. Um, now down here it seems to be the world of pigs. But, right, a squid, you're going to die. Um, sorry about that. Now... Any other squid will also need to die. I really think I ought to cook up my my food. What happened? I bypassed you. I mean, squid that swim around and get away from you. <laughs> Don't die until you've hit them 18 times. What's going on? This is 1.9 all over again. This is difficult mobs. I need a bit more ordinary stone and then I can cook things up. Um, okay. It's funny, it reminds me of the very first uh, beta base race uh, is uh, being around extreme hills. I remember that we we had a base up on top of the hill and it was we, we we also had to collect uh clay from the bottom of the rivers didn't we yes right from near there and we had to get we had to damage an anvil just like we were doing recently um yes now right forgetfulness let's let's just get a couple of furnaces on the go So as I say, this is probably not going to be a, a long recording session. I will just try to get started. And okay, I need to kill some skellies, but I really need some. Uh, what's the thing they're called? Iron. <laughs> I need. I need armor. I. I don't fancy my chances of going out there and. <laughs> killing the skellies without any armor on even though we're in only in the old version 
I've got a healthy respect for skellies and their their ability to damage you. Right, that's a good little bit of food coming along. I like the look of that. Come here. Oh, better kill those squids. Um, I will need... Yes, so squid and... Chips. No, squid and... Um, Oh, I've got I'm losing my words today. Concentrating. Um, kill, kill the skellies. Get, get some bones. Right, the moon is coming out tonight, and our squids are not proving to be a problem in here. But dying to skellies might do. Now, I think probably the best thing for me to do will be let's go and do a, a caving session now at the start of the night and now I don't really want to do this in extreme hills so probably I will dig my way in over here let's, let's get going down I just want to pick up all those early supplies. Right. Um, I can make torches. Four fingers and thumbs, as usual, when trying to go fast. Right. Okay, we're under the planes. I can get going downwards. Night has just fallen, and I want to pick up my iron. Now I do need to get various things from underground and I really ought to start putting a, a mind to what it is that I'm digging up. I need just one diorite, 64 granite, loads of cobblestone, half a stack of andesite, half a stack of sand from somewhere as well. But then I've got to go deep under and start getting gold, diamonds, redstone. Now, later on, once I feel up to it, I've got to um, come back up to the surface and, well, no, I can do it anywhere. I have to take on a bunch of uh, creepers. And I remember doing that one. Now, was it the supervillains one where we, we all had to go out there and kill um, as many creepers as possible <laughs> and collect the gunpowder to make TNT? Yes, well, we're doing it again. Inventory management, as always, is a difficult thing and something you have to my master within um, Base Race. Um, I really think I've found a good place um, for collecting my granite over here. It's obviously not very far below uh, the surface because I'm hearing the squid swimming around in the water, I think. Always need lots of coal. I don't think we're collecting coal blocks or anything this time. But um, you just need lots of coal. And we have got a lot of cooking to do this month as well. It's uh, there's, there's one whole stack of cobble has got to be turned into smooth stone, I remember. And then there's a whole load of... Uh, oh no, 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 no. I must remember not to cook up all of the uh, clay because there's a lot of clay blocks which I would naturally want to cook and actually we've got to leave them as clay blocks. And that's, oh, that's the end of that one. Right, so that's, uh, ooh, I have got some wood but... Let's uh, not those, not those. Come on, get down into my inventory, will ya? No, and then don't try punching it, right. Okay. Sorry if this is a little bit on the dull side, you just have to collect these blocks when you see them. But then I really need to get deep, deep, deep as fast as I can and um, don't dig above your own head. How long have you been playing this game? 
can't remember the last time I actually did drop gravel on my head or sand. And of course it was always much more awful to do. Oh, that's all the gravel I needed. Now let's, um, let's carry on going deeper. Carry on the stairway. Why not? We're in the plains. There's no reason to deviate from my course. I'm getting more gravel and granite, I mean, just because I've already collected all that I need. But cobble's good. Cobble. Get much of it. So I would like to get down to diamond level <clears throat> before the end of this episode, because as soon as the sun rises, it's good to get back and, drop and do your first drop off, I think. Although, mm, maybe not. My inventory is, is not completely maxed out, is it? There's a, quite a lot of digging and underground stuff that has to be done in this base race. But there's also the thing that's going to cause me problems. Uh, that is terrifying. He can't come through the wall, can he? And I can hear a skeleton, and I can hear... Right, well, I'm hiding from you. Uh, I, I tell you, my own heart is doing a lot more than that. Can you hear that thumping noise in my audio? Yikes, that is so scary, Ed. Right, okay. Well, I'll, I'll just trust that he can't get me through the rock. He's not one like one of those um, more creatures, rock-eating things that that come and get you. He's, he's really tracking me, though, isn't he? I haven't heard him make any um, digging sounds, though. That would be... I think that would send me completely... Oh, have I moved just out of range of him? Well, that, I mean, in a way, that is thrilling as well. Just to have something as scary as that come along, it is brilliant as well as scary. Now, I seem to have moved in the opposite direction to him, which is what Ed said. Ed said, run or hide. And I've kind of done both. Oh, gold. We need gold. But I haven't found any iron yet, have I? So I'll say, X marks the spot. Oh, that's the end of my torches, too. Let's get a few more of those ready. Okay, so... Gold, yes. Very nice. I've had a scary experience. Oh, there is some iron here. Excellent. Oh, this looks like this will be a little stop point to smelt up my iron, make an iron pick, and get that gold, I think. Oh, we've got more and more. Do you think that guy could come back? Could he suddenly appear in here? I don't know. It's, um... Right. Oh, we've only got the six. We only need one of those. Right, okay. Now, that andesite, I have to collect 32 of it, and I've got 20, so I might as well carry on and grab a few more bits of it from here. While we're waiting, oh, the, the gold carries on a little bit. I'm not putting the torches out. I'm suddenly very afraid of the dark. <laughs> Suddenly, what am I talking about? Everyone knows I've always been afraid of the dark. And mobs, and Minecraft, and squid. Right. They don't call me Bat Heart because I have the heart of a dark soul of a bat. It's because it flutters like a little bat, my heart, as it flaps around. Right. Here we go. Now, oh, right. We need 
need some more sticks. And an iron pick. Good. So, let's get a bit of gold. We're um, really just approaching the end of the episode. How much gold do I need? Is it enough for a block? Is that what I need? Ooh, it carries on a little bit, but it obviously won't be enough for a block. I've got six there. So let's pop those in. Um, get rid of that. Ah, no, I'm, I think... It's kind of a waste, but let's just use it as a means of throwing away a few things I don't need. But I'm I'm sure I'm going to end up um, using a piece of coal out of all that lot anyway. Right, I've got those. Now, you always need a bucket. I think a bucket is a good first thing. Right, and then I think we've just about reached the end of episode one. So, I'm calling it there. Stop the clock. And come out again, because I don't want to carry on cooking while, um, while the time is running, or while anyone's timing my progress. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with the next episode of Base Race. Bye-bye.